you were in the Garden of Eden. Yes, if I get permission, I can take you there tomorrow. It's a physical place. Can you ask? I'll ask. We'll see what happens. But don't count on it. I can ask many things. I don't always get my way. But, no, just so you understand. It's a physical place. It's the source of spirituality of this planet. Earth, not the universe. When you say the source of spirituality, what do you mean? Make believe there's a house. And spirituality is living in the house. That's the house. Garden of Eden. As opposed to the Dome of the Rock that we spoke about. This is the center of spirituality and energy of the universe. Let's not go there for a second. Why wind? Why the source of wind? I don't know why, but I guess wind is connected to spirituality. And that's the source where it comes from. Again, make believe it's a factory of wind. It started there. So every wind anywhere in our planet Earth, the source is there. Once it's out, it can navigate in different directions according to the climate, the weather of the day, and so on. But the source came from there. When you were there, what did you see? What did you hear? What did you experience? I don't want to tell you too much. I can tell you there is sound. In our understanding, it's music, but it's music you never heard before. I wish I could record it. You can make a lot of money selling it. Everybody would buy it. But in my understanding, us, human, for us, it's music. But it's a divine sound that I cannot explain. But I can tell you that it makes you feel unbelievably relaxed and happy. And at the same time, it would bring you into tears of happiness. M music, like without words? No, no words. Is it higher pitched, lower pitched? It, it fluctuates. You might hear a voice that you might translate it into a female voice, but it's not really that, but it's similar. It's a combination. It's not one sound, it's a combination of sounds that creates this magnificent creation that I, I don't know how to explain. You're saying it's a physical place. Are there, is there water? Is there, is there wood? Is there fire? What is there? It's part of planet Earth. Is there like an entrance? Yes. What does the entrance look like? Forest. Forest. Trees, not forest. Okay. Okay, and it's, there's a facade. You remember I spoke to you about the facade that protects the craft, the spaceships? There's another facade. That means if you're going to go with the plane over it and you look down, you're not going to see what I'm describing. You understand? So there is a facade, but there's a way of getting in there. How do you get in? Somebody took me. I didn't go on my own. For what purpose? It was a learning experience for me. Is there any relevance to us knowing this in terms of the Garden of Eden? It's spoken about in the Bible. It says the Garden of Eden is where the four rivers meet. There's a lot of confusion over there. Correct. My question is, how does knowing about this apply to our lives today? Most of what you read in the Bible is correct. Not all of the information is there. Some of the rivers, two rivers are on top. Two rivers are under the ground that you don't see unless again, you got to go under some, it's like a natural tunnel that was built. So there is the city and under the city, if you want to call it like that. Are there people who live there? Used to, not anymore. Why? Today it's more connected to missions of certain groups who can have the ability, the challenge and the permission to go into the place.